what's going on. Definitely there's been this, this energy of an ending, a separation, a breakup, severing ties with someone, okay? But I do see a relationship coming in. There is. There is a relationship coming in, okay? And uh, you have the same thing on your mind, Virgo, because you have your Ten of Pentacles and your emotional. This could be money. This could be stability, security. But yeah, this is definitely someone that you're blocking out, okay? Someone who you're not... Um, Say directly talking to someone you're not seeing eye to eye, but you need to make a decision about them, okay? You know you want the stability with them. You want you know you want marriage with them, but you're not making a decision. Whilst this person is coming in with a relationship, okay? That's what you don't see in your environment here. So with the three of swords as the current as the overall energy, there's like a lot of heartache, a lot of heartbreak out here, okay? In the past, there was someone who you could be dealing with who was emotionally unavailable, someone who's very closed off, not wanting to be vulnerable, but just definitely someone who just made you chase, okay? I'm getting that energy of someone emotionally immature, okay? They just refuse to express themselves, but also someone who's not the best at expressing their emotions, okay? They're, it's very hard for them to open up like that, but um, yeah, could be someone very bratty, Someone who is very egoistic, okay, but yeah, someone who's just not very open to the idea of love or they just don't know. They've never been in a relationship. In the current situation, in the current situation, we have the charity in reverse, okay, which is telling me that someone's not taking control of a situation, okay, which is why things are not moving forward. Things can move forward, okay, because there is this need to have a strong willpower and determination to get over the hurdles, okay, that this relationship has. But someone's just not taking control of that, okay, someone's lacking the willpower, Someone's very hesitant on moving forward is what I'm getting. And the queen of wands in the near future here. So yeah, that is someone here who sees you as uh, that very, that very, um, you know, they, they have a lot of passion for you, but this could be someone taking action towards you. This is how they see you, but we'll see. All right, let's clarify. All right, try for the three of swords here. Why is this the overall energy for her group? Why is the Three of Swords here as the overall energy for your group? The King of Swords in reverse, the Two of Swords in reverse, and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So there was clearly a breakup here, like I said, right? Something was hurting you. You chose a, you chose to end a situation with someone. You know, you were probably indecisive, but you saw things very clearly. You finally made a decision to release someone who was very cold, detached, I see, okay? But someone who was very bad at communication, either this person was a liar, a cheater, or someone who just gave you a hard time communicating, okay? Could be dealing with someone very, very manipulative. But yeah, this was a very strong soul tie connection, okay? This was your soulmate, a very strong connection that you couldn't get rid of. That's why you were holding on to it very badly, okay? But you just let it go because you saw the reality for what it is. You finally addressed the situation and saw it for what it is, okay? Instead of living in denial and you cut someone off. Looks like an air sign. Or they cut you off, okay? You know how the energies work, right? I just don't want to confuse myself, okay? So I'm just going to stick to the spread. All right. What's the charity in reverse in the current situation? Five of swords. World in reverse and the two of cups in reverse. Someone's again sabotaging the connection, okay? This is someone who just pushes you away. They don't address their feelings. They're not true with themselves. They they know what they want, but they tend to push it away only because they have this, um, it could be a childhood issue, okay? Or this could just be someone who, because of their own fears, okay? They push you away. They want this with you, but they're just scared. They're afraid that they may lose it, right? You know how it is, right? I just read something on um, Instagram. It was like... Um, you're afraid of having love. You're afraid, you know, it's like that she'll hurt you. You're afraid that he'll hurt you. You're afraid they'll break your heart, okay? And that's one of the reasons why you tend to push love away because once you have love, right, you know, it can be taken away from you, right? So that's one of the reasons why you push it away even if you want it. That's the kind of feeling I'm getting here. So that's why someone wants to come towards you, but they're not, which is why there is this, the, 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 the separation is still there. Okay, and there's unfinished business because someone's still not learning their lessons. This is, this could be the person you're dealing with, okay, or you. But someone's not learning their lessons, they tend to repeat the same pattern with you, okay? 
which is why you're not coming full circle with this person and so that you can move to the next level with them they're not realizing what they're damaging okay but yeah they their guards are up you know they tend to do this and because they're doing this with the six of swords i feel you're you're wanting to move away from them okay you're wanting to distance could be another issue okay distance could, could make it very tough for you guys to get together okay but yeah right now the reason why you guys are still not getting together is because this person is again they're not being address being able to address their real feelings for you okay all right they're lacking the willingness you know to make it happen only because of their own they're coming in their own way that's all i can say uh why is the queen of wands here in the near future what's the queen of wands i think you're going to land up doing what you want to what you're passionate about i don't think you're going to wait for this person no more chasing whether you chase them or not but it's just like you're not going to chase ace of pentacles in reverse 10 of cups and the five of wands here someone wants their happily ever after with you okay but they're very conflicted in their head they see you as sexy badass sassy you know they see you as the one they see you as someone who has a lot of suitors okay they're extremely passionate about you you're the one that they want you know they know you you got the, you you got your shit together okay but the problem here is they're conflicted in their head because either this person doesn't see something that will work out realistically long term or this person is just having a lot of doubts of if they can make things happen or not the other thing i'm seeing is this could be someone who's more focused on their money okay but i just feel that there's a lack of new start here because this person is constantly in their head okay that's a lot of conflict in their head should i should i not should i should i not because they see you as the queen of wands here they're like i don't know if um you know um okay i'm sorry about that i don't know what i just completely yeah they just don't know if you're going to take them back or not okay a lot of intimidation by you sorry for that pause i did i just but yeah they want this happily ever after you in the near future okay they do but they're just not sure if you're going to be up for it or not okay it's a pentacles in reverse is a lot of self doubt i don't know if it's going to work out i don't know if you know it's going to be like a missed opportunity okay what's the two of swords here this is how you see yourself what's the two of swords you see yourself as in living in denial okay you're just not addressing the situation okay eight of swords four of wands eight of pentacles in reverse seven of swords babe you want this with this person okay you do you want something long term you want commitment you do you want to marry this person but you're hiding your feelings you're being deceptive you're not being very honest about what you feel with this person okay you're just hiding your feelings your intentions you're just trying to get away with it okay you feel you can hide your feelings and get away with it and that's what you're doing you're being an escapist okay you're not putting in the work you could have been putting in a 100% once you know once upon a time you just like put in your all to make this work out but now it's like you know what things are just not working in your favor and uh, you're just not seeing something coming into fruition okay and now you're lacking the motivation to invest anything more into the situation over the eight of swords here i feel you're stuck on them so you're stuck on them you know you can't move on you want to marry them you want this long term thing with them okay but you're hiding your feelings you're keeping your feelings to yourself okay you're going to try and show them that you don't really give a shit whereas you do give a shit but again you're not even going to put in the effort what's the two of cups in your near in your environment what you don't see coming is the two of cups this person is coming in with a relationship what's the two of cups stand for the two of cups please one more card We have the King of Cups, the Hangman in Reverse, and the Ten of Swords. This is someone who you had an ending with, okay? Something that ended badly. You could have felt very backstabbed, betrayed, cheated by this person, okay? This person has a lot of love for you, for sure, okay? But this is the King of Cups here. Someone who's not the best at expressing their emotions, you know? They're very mature, okay? Very understanding. 
someone who's an emperor okay but uh, very mature very compassionate but they're just not the best okay so they will love you to the moon and back but you won't even know it because they're very good at hiding it someone who mastered their emotions so yeah the person you you felt betrayed by okay that's what's coming in this person is trying to see things from your point of view they're finally um this person has had enough information. They've done a lot of research. They've had a lot of downloads, okay, about this relationship. Why this relationship was on a pause, okay? And they're getting out of that stagnation mode and they're wanting to take action towards you. And what they're coming in with you is with the um, two of cups. So this person, you have a relationship coming in. You do. They see things from your point of view, okay? Of course, they're very hurt with the Ten of Swords here. Maybe they feel backstabbed, betrayed, and cheated by you. Whatever it is, if you think how it resonates. But yeah, they love you. They want you. And there is this connection coming in for you. And something, and the Two of Cups is not just them, right? It's you. So both of you, right? You love them as much as they love you. We already see that here. But they're just trying to, whatever, manipulate your feelings and try to ignore your feelings. You know, and put them in the back burner. Because you don't want to put in the work if they're not putting in the work. It's very clear on your side. What's the page of swords in reverse? Why is the page of swords in reverse here as the outcome? See, he's still stopping. It's fine. But no communication. What's the page of swords in reverse? Give me one more. What's the page of swords in reverse? Strength in reverse with the king of wands in reverse and the three of swords. There's still that energy of a lot of pain, okay? Someone still not being able to heal from the separation. It's still hurting someone, okay? There's this lingering uh, heartbreak, heartache, separation, okay? So the separation still maintains in the outcome here, okay? And that's only because this person is just not sure if they can make it happen with you. They're, they don't have enough confidence, okay? A lot of self-doubt, negative self-talk is what I'm getting here. They're very nervous, you know? They're not taking action. Very nervous. This person knows they need to, um, you know, um, they're very hesitant on taking action, okay? They're running on fumes right now. They're nervous, scared to take action. They're lacking the courage. Could be someone who's very egoistic, okay? It doesn't have to be. But King of Wands, Rivers, Strength and Rivers, eh, maybe. Maybe someone's operating more from the ego. They're hurting. They're hurting as shit. But still, they will choose not to open their mouth. They will choose not to take action towards you. This person knows they need to make that big, brave, bold move towards you. You know, and they need to take the leadership role out here in the um, relationship. But three of swords, yes, someone feels cheated or there's a third party situation out here. Again, the third party, I don't like to say third party is Nick very quickly. But three of swords is a third party situation. Third party can be anything. It cannot be only a romantic involvement, person, place, thing, situation, emotion, belief system, anything that's coming between you and the person you're dealing with externally. All right. So yeah, don't worry about that. But there's something that's stopping this person from coming towards you. And to me, it looks like with the Ten of Swords, this person's overthinking, you know, this person puts themselves as the victim out here. That's what's happening here. They're over-exhausting themselves. Five of Wands, too much conflict, you know, too much conflict. Either there's interference of too many people between you guys, or then this is just someone here who knows that there's a lot of fighting, a lot of drama involved if they want to make things happen with you. Ten of Cups, for sure, granted, they want this with you, okay? Two of Cups, they love you. So yeah, but are they ready to fight for this? Are they ready to step up the game? I don't know. I, I I don't know for now. But at least from the 18 to the 14, doesn't look like they're manning up or womaning up for now. Okay. That's what I have for you. Hope this resonates. If it does, please leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.